Hey everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino. How are you today? It is Thursday, September 14, 2017. Are you watching the bond market? I hope you are watching the bond market. That's how I'm going to start this off. It's been behaving very erratically lately. Just last week, the U.S. 10-year yield um, was 2.04. As I am doing this right now, it is 2.199. Um, over the past several trading days, bonds have been selling off pretty rapidly. The stock market hasn't done too much of anything. As I am doing this, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is higher. Um, both the S&P and the NASDAQ are, are about at the flat line. But this maybe a tell here people that we're about to see some cash move around in this market um, understand it's a very simple concept when cash is coming out of some place it's simply going to look for another place to go by watching the action of let's say the bond market because I always talk about it you can kind of get a handle on where it might be looking to go and, and that's where the opportunity is here, in my opinion. So, the cash again, leaving the bond market, may be a signal to us that something is going to be done with regard to tax reform. All right? And what does that mean? I think, and, and this is my opinion, that this cash here is, is just waiting. It's waiting to, to move back again into equities or the stock market, and we're going to hit more records, 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 records moving forward. Um, this phenomenon has been going on since the election of Donald Trump as President of the United States. This market has been in some kind of a melt-up mode. For those of you that follow my work, I told you the, when, when, when President Trump, when he was elected president, I said this was a game changer publicly, that this market was going to vault higher, and that's what it's been doing since that time. We also understand that the Fed is out of the way. Um, they're, they're, they're not going to do a thing moving forward here. Again, maybe one more token rate hike moving forward towards the end of the year. Um, and that's it. They're not going to touch their balance sheet. The dollar although it's up slightly here today is in a downward spiral these all of these things that I just talked about are stock market positive so we can take advantage of this and get ourselves on the right side of this trade it's very important to understand uh, precious metals today aren't doing much of anything uh, you know I would not be surprised to see them fall under some pressure short term uh, and why is that? Dollar getting a little bit stronger. It appears that, and you know, this could change, but I'm just, you know, this is a snapshot in time that I'm trying to decipher. It appears that the sell off here with regard to the bond market, there's cash waiting for just waiting for somewhere to go. Um, and when we see this in this environment with a, with a Fed that has got their foot to the floor, uh, to support this market, it appears that that's where cash is going to go. Could it go back into the perceived safety of debt? <laughs> it, it sure could, but the way things seem to be progressing here, there's opportunity on the long end of this market, continue to buy the dips moving forward. Like I've been saying, the market is going to continue higher until it stops. And in this environment where we have, again, uh, an environment of risk being deliberately created by a runaway central bank uh, and, and there's almost nowhere else to go here so that's what I think is going to go on moving forward and I want every single one of us to be ready to rip its freaking face off however you want to do this if the market goes higher if you're a trader you know exactly what you should be doing here again buying those dips if you are a stacker here and you see Precious metals fall under pr pressure, you should smile and use that as an opportunity to acquire more. Bet against the debt, become your own central bank. I can't stress those two things enough. They have been my premises, premises since day one. And I think, um, really, I should probably trademark 
that. All right, with that said, uh, I'm going to let you all go, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Over now.